workshops for children and families to stay and play for a lifetime. Welcome to Chicago at Play. Plunge is a, the national fundraiser for Special Olympics everywhere. So you'll see it in many cities, you'll even see it in some of the suburbs of Chicago. But it's a wonderful opportunity for people to come out and do some, something absolutely crazy to raise money. The Special Olympics program was born here in Chicago. First games were held in Soldier Field in 1968. The Chicago Park District implements the Special Olympics Chicago program, and um, the only way we've been able to do it successfully is with the support of Special Children's Charities, who's been the funding arm um, of the program. The Park District houses a majority of the events for Special Olympics Chicago. The charities, of course, is the funding arm for Special Olympics Chicago. It's nice to uh, come out on a Sunday, do something silly, but to really give back and raise money for something like this. Along with corporate donations throughout the year, special children's charities count on fundraisers like the Polar Plunge to provide programming for Special Olympic athletes. I can't speak for anyone individually, but of course everyone feels great about raising the money, the bragging rights of jumping in the winter weather, and of course, you know, everyone's been to North Avenue Beach in the summer, uh, but how many people can say they've been there in March? Well, I think first and foremost, people really want to make a difference, and I think they'd love to find a way to rally people to generate a lot of money for the charity for Special Olympics athletes. It's just a bonus to be able to do something nuts, and it's on a lot of people's bucket lists. I think uh, to be able to tell your friends that you jumped in the lake has some sort of redeeming quality, and you know, frankly, to tell someone else to go jump in the lake is fun too. Record-breaking crowds are expected, and many steps are taken to make it a fun day for all. We're seeing again this year lots of groups wanting to participate. Uh, you yourself and a group of friends or brothers and sisters or family members or people that all work at the same bar or restaurant. Um, that's where the fun is because it's, it's an experience that you want to share with people that are close to you. The way that we accommodate so many people is that we're allowing people to jump in waves no pun intended. So you can sign up. When you register, you choose what time you'd like to plunge. For groups of 50 or more, we'll send uh, a bus to pick you up from your location and to take you back there. This is one of the most rewarding experiences. It's a lot of fun. Everyone enjoys themselves and uh, you know, it's just a great cause. Our plungers go in shifts and we have, of course, our lifeguards, our divers, police and fire divers as well. If need be, we break up the ice. Yes, he said break up the ice. You never know what the weather is going to be like, but we can guarantee Polar Plunge will be a blast. What you can count on is that the water is pretty cold. Uh, Lake Michigan hasn't had enough time to get warm, but it's fun. It's invigorating. It's incredibly chilly. But the minute you get out, you run right inside, put on your warm clothes. Special Olympics gives you a big, warm, white towel, and it's incredibly exciting. I mean, the way you feel, it's hard to describe. The costumes are a blast. People express themselves and to see people's unique characteristics. It's, it's Halloween in March, it's a lot of fun. Immediately following the last plunger jumping in, a DJ has already started. We have a meltdown party, we call it. So we'll have raffles, we'll have food. It's just nice for people to hang out and start telling their stories then and you know, sharing their own experience of the day. For more information or to sign up for the Chicago Polar Plunge on March 2nd, visit chicagopolarplunge.org or follow their Facebook page. You can also visit chicagoparkdistrict.com for more details. So it's a very family-friendly day. Uh, we've noticed over the last couple of years, families are coming out to watch, maybe not necessarily to participate. There's live music and food. It's a really great day to just come down to the beach. Everybody's getting a little cabin fever. Uh, we have tons of athletes there, and it's, uh, it's a wonderful day to celebrate Special Olympics in Chicago. Thank you.